right peoples. So I wanted to go ahead and kind of give my thoughts on this uh the new story mode footage that we're seeing. It's only the first chapter, but it is very very it's, it's jam packed with some stuff. So I wanted to give my thoughts on it. Um, I will be pausing and talking in some areas. If you want to see my reaction to it, I already made a video on that. Also, this video is by IGN. If you want to watch the IGN footage without me talking over it, you may do that as well. But I'm just giving y'all a disclaimer that I will be talking over it. I will be pausing some points and I will be giving my opinion at some points uh, of this video. I'll also be skipping the, um, the fights where uh, you start controlling the character because why, why would I watch that? Uh, <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Uh, first things first. Starting with the beginning. Of unrivaled potency. It will soon be on the shelves in every home of Outworld. The number one. Like, okay, so starting out, the first thing that I like. Ancient recipe. It has Patreon flowers, Margovian nectar. Powdered teeth of an Arctican dragon. All this and more, infused with powerful Lycorian magic. There is a village in the next canton over, where everyone has purchased this miracle cure. Overnight, all diseases, even Tarkat, have disappeared. Shang Song being a scammer. Now, magic this potent is expensive. He's a snake. And I am sure you're asking yourselves, can I afford it? But the true Snake question oil salesman. Is, can I afford to be without it? You lie, Shang Tsung. Your cures are useless. I'm sorry. You are. Someone fool enough to have believed you. My daughter was dying when you came to my farm. You promised a miracle, and I gave you all I had. But only days later, she was dead. <laughs> that is impossible. My magic could not have failed. Shout out uh, Shang Tsung is the scum of the earth. Fucking scum of the earth. Even when he is not. And there I say, I don't think Liu Kang made him this way. It's just his, this is just who he is. Liu Kang creates big bangs. He's not like Chronicle where he just, uh, where he just, uh, uh, oh, this is the destiny I have set up for you. If he did do that, Liu Kang. How did, how did Liu Kang do this? How did he set everything up? I think what he was doing, he was just there for everybody. He just he he just put in overtime, being there in every event of people's lives that were causing problems. Instead of oh, I'm gonna create this path for him or that path. No, he was actually there trying to weave the path. But people go back to form eventually, so he just eventually like gave up on this on the Big Bangs and had Gears control it, and he actually just became the protector of Earth Realm. And um, included himself in Outworld more to help weave everything. I, I don't know. He was included in the starts of everybody's lives to make sure that they didn't have any type of upbringing. But throughout how they grew and how they acted was solely up to free will and uh, the events of their life in which he started them out. I don't know. This is just a theory. I'm just, I'm just shooting blanks here, when it comes to this, because I don't fucking know. But this is one thing that I like: the fact that Shao, uh, Shao Kahn. I made a whole video on Shao Kahn, and now, the fuck or General Shao, the fucking taste is still left in my mouth. The fact that Shang Tsung is still, is still uh, who he is without the magic is fucking bizarre to me. And it makes so much sense. There was no magic! I took your elixir to an Imperial mage. And you know what she said? It's nothing! Just bourgeoning tea! 
The mage is mistaken, kind sir. My elixirs are of superior quality. Their efficacy is guaranteed. <laughs> Now, how they didn't bruise him up and beat the shit out of him? Only Shang Tsung knows. Maybe, maybe they just ransacked him, took all his money and everything that he had. But they surrounded him like they was gonna kick the shit out of him. They definitely ruined his makeup. Ironically, <laughs> and I think this is, is probably good writing to start out. Uh, uh, don't worry about this part right here right now. We're not talking about this part. I'm talking about this part right here still. The fact that Shang Tsung has been an old man in almost every game. Except Mortal Kombat. Uh, I think Mortal Kombat 2. He, he had gotten younger. But his whole thing was consuming souls to become younger and now he's a younger man disguised as an older man that swap up is fucking crazy to me and you know you're more trustworthy to uh, look yourself I mean you older people look more trustworthy when they say things they look like they have more experience Shang Tsung is cunning the fact that he had that switch up is bizarre to me now let's continue because we finna get to our first dislike of this motherfucking video this Here fucking story mode. A dissatisfied customer. If it's revenge you want, have at it. If it's restitution, there's nothing left. What I want, Shang. So restitution, nothing left. They took everything Shang Tsung had. Although I would have kicked the shit out of him. Old man or not, <laughs> my daughter passed away. You sold me tea. You didn't care. I would have kicked the shit out of him. All right. This is my first dislike. What the fuck is she doing back? I hope she isn't in the story mode long. I hope what happens is <clears throat> Giris, Giris himself comes and erases her. Giris has no loyalty to her, but only the timelines. I hope Giris just offs her. She goes to Gears and in, in, in her time of need, asking Gears for things, and Gears is just like, hmm. You don't control the timelines anymore or the hourglass. They belong to Lord Lucane. Bye bye. <laughs> I hope Gears is the one to do it. That would that would make me look so much. I hope Gears isn't the main villain. That would make Gears look so much better. I would love that that plot line. She doesn't need to be in the story mode long, though, at all. That is one thing everybody can agree on. I hope she isn't there long. These little timeline shenanigans is getting fucking old. Okay? This little bald baby bitch. Oh, now, one thing I will say, another like. I don't know if that's still Jennifer Hale. But the voice. The fucking voice. Elevate you to sounds a lot you better. A great sorcerer that now you can only pretend to be. A generous offer. Why me? You are uniquely resilient. I fucking hate Chronica. I hate Chronica. I like the new get up. Selling quack I hate her. I hate who's wearing a get up. I would have liked this if she was more calm talking in Mortal Kombat 11. More calm talking. And less stupid. Fourth, Fourth Snake just recently put out a video. I think y'all should go watch it about why Chronica is stupid. And I want you to percent agree. I I can't even I can't begin to explain. He he explains everything so much better than I can. So I recommend watching his video. 
It is barely survival. He hit so many key points. Were meant for more. To live among kings. Right here is where everybody in unison groaned. Fuck Chronica. Not peasants. But since before you were born, you have been conspired against by those who fear how formidable you could become. How do you know this? Who are you? I am your deliverer, Shang Tsung. Join me, and I will put the realms at your feet. This fucking smile right here. I see he has a little beard down there. Hey, that's crazy. I ain't noticed that. He has a little fucking goatee. Baby face ass. This smile right here. If he would have cracked a bit more of a smile, it would look normal. But then they decide to do this. Why? Why did they have to do this close-up shot? Netherrealm is notorious for these goofy looking shots. Netherrealm. <laughs> he could have just cracked a smile right there instead of having the thunder and the zoom in on his face. It would have made him seem more sinister if you didn't do a shot where he couldn't smile all the way. Huh. Another like. Hold on, wait. Look, I'm sorry. I told y'all I was going to be pausing this. Throw out. Another like. This. I, I, you never get this dynamic between Liu Kang and Kung Lao. They're always training for something when you see them. They're always having that, that competition. But this feels more natural between Kung Lao and Raiden. Oh, well? Yes. Raiden, is blessing, is, Raiden, he likes the easier life. You would rather we starve? No, no, of course not. Or at night, he likes the hard working farm life. He likes where he living. Kung Lao, in contrast, feels like there's something better he should be doing. Old man Wei. Old man Wei. As long as I've known you, you've dreamed of leaving things young. Why can't you be happy here? Our ancestors fought in great wars. They died with honor and glory. Stories of our great adventures? <laughs> Will be passed down for generations. It may not be glorious, but what we do helps the village thrive. I know, but is it so wrong to want some excitement? If that's what you want, may I suggest a bet? Dinner at Madame Beau's tonight. Last to fill their cart pays. You work faster than me? <laughs> Since when? You're on, Raiden. One thing people uh, haven't been too keen on is Kung Lao's new design. Me personally, I like his new design. The farmer look for both of them. Amazing. Raiden's, both of his get ups are amazing. Fucking amazing. Look at that. It's just so, the, the Asian aesthetic in this movie is just, I'm mean, a movie. See, look, 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 look. In this video game movie, we're going to say that the story cutscenes, the Asian aesthetic everywhere in this, in this story mode is, is, I hope they don't stray too far away from it, but of course they, of course they got to because, um, of Outworld, but just this right here, the little banner and everything. They can always bring it back to the Raiden and Kung Lao brotherly dynamic. Even in Outworld. And then the addition of Johnny Cage, which I know the comedy is probably about to be top tier in this. Just by this uh this cutscene alone. They 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 are doing some good jobs actually building upon the characters. Right off the bat, you get a judge of Kung Lao and Raiden's character. So and Shang Tsung's character, of course. Shang Tsung being Shang Tsung without the magic. He's not much of a fighter at all. 
he's gonna allow anybody to take anything after or uh that like he was like yeah you want to fight me beat me up go ahead everybody already did so have at it you want to take what i have good luck finding anything he just down on his luck he like fuck it that's how i always been this how everything's always been for me which that could have been by Luke Kane's doing i don't know a judge of Kung Lao's character, he always feels like there's something great around the corner waiting for him, and he wants to do more. Raiden is just so satisfied with working for the village. That is amazing. I am starving. I wonder what Madame Bo is making tonight. For you two, whatever you want. Thank you, Madame Bo. You spoil us. Like the sons I never had. I wonder if Madame Bo is Bo Wright Cho. Either his wife or is Bo Wright Cho as... Because she's lessons? wearing the colors. Bo Wright Cho as a woman. Can. The harvest leaves us little time for martial art. Since Sorry. your first words, Kung Lao, you've mouthed nothing but excuses. If you fail to prepare... What makes me believe this might be... Will fail. Good. This is probably Bo Wright Cho. But we'll see Which is, is a, a hefty change, Liu Kang. Why would you do that? This could be Bo Raicho. Uh, the first thing about it is, they she trains she trains both of these folks. Special tonight. Kung Lao and Raiden. With Raiden is a, a very Madame weird Bo ass name. Bill with her anger. I am for a farmer. You finished work last, but I delivered my cart first. Delivered? Huh. The bet was filled that's not what i remember so that's how it is eh what do you say we settle this man to man hmm? <laughs> wait you mean fight yes right here right now madame Bo can watch critique our form they traded the uh more best two out of three fair enough we must be careful. They traded the uh, more um, better looking face models for better face animations, more fluid movement. Probably spent their money elsewhere. Which I 100% agree with. This look on Mortal Kombat looks way better. They can smooth it out, make it better over the years. It looks more Mortal Kombat to me. People who say, oh, the graphics look worse. Look like they earned some type of hat down here. But they say the graphics look worse. Oh, no, the graphics look pretty good. It's just they're not using the same face models. They're using more generic face models and building off that. Look like it's more from scratch. And I'm, down, I'm all down for it. They show more expression and, and emotion and beaten me yet the day is coming come now <laughs> keep telling yourself that just more personality oh, overall oh, everything was delicious madam Bo. thank you Raiden you boys are always a pleasure to cook for Every time I see that, I expect him to say, where there's smoke, there's fire. But this Madame is an Bo, interesting change. First time I seen this, I caught it. I was like, why do they look like they're here for pay for pay protection? Like, Madame Bo was already paying them. I have been busy, Smoke. The Lin Kuei? Who are they? Don't know. But I don't like where this is going. Okay, so... The fact that they have never been here before, and uh, the fact that they have never been here before, and Raiden and Kung Lao don't know who they are, is leading me, and it seems like everybody else, to believe that this whole thing was staged by Lord Liu Kang, who was sitting there in the background watching Raiden and Kung Lao fight, just to see if they were worthy. 
to join the tournament. What do we do? Stay ready. Madam Bo, it is a simple choice. Pay for our protection, or risk harm to this fine establishment. You'll get nothing from me. That, Madam Bo, is unfortunate. That's quite the fucking That's quite the fucking hit Madam Bo took. If she faking it, she used to taking bumps like that. Madam Bo was in the WWE. Madam Bo. I know they not pulling their punches. Damn. You two are brave. But against us, you are in over your head. We don't care who you are or who you are with. Now who's in over his head? Raiden lay him the fuck out. I'm surprised too. Okay, so this is this is one thing I like about Raiden's character. Kung Lao, or excuse me, Liu Kang has always been always been front and center of glory. Always been known as being being better than Kung Lao in combat, and Kung Lao was just not ready. He feels like he's Liu Kang's equal, and he was more destined for glory. Raiden, on the other hand. Let Kung Lao get all the glory. And I think Raiden pulled his punches with Kung Lao when they fought. That's what I believe. Wholeheartedly. I mean, we know Raiden ends up being Earth Realm's champion, champion. So, I believe he was pulling his punches with uh, Kung Lao. And he doesn't care about none of that. Only Kung Lao does. And I think we're going to see more of Raiden's character when he uh, talks to Luke Kang. He's like, oh, Lord Luke Kang, he'll be like, well, me out of all people, are you sure? I mean, I think Kung Lao is more worthy to uh, of the stature than I am. I'm pretty sure that's going to be in his character. The way that they write in Raiden, I love him. He's just so humble as a human. People might see this as... He's only just taking Liu Kang's spot. There's nothing different. But I see a lot of difference between him and Liu Kang as humans and as Earth Realm's champion already. Already. And I love it. I'm loving it. Only thing I don't like is that they didn't, they didn't give uh, Raiden a proper human name. <laughs> and Raiden just it's crazy. Come on. Let's help Madame Bo. One of the coldest lines ever, no pun intended. Y'all ready? Wet, wet, freeze where you stand. You interfere with Linquay business. Leave or face our wrath. Abandon Madam Bo. Not happening. Kung Lao, I mean, the, the Lin Kuei, if they are faking, they are taking a lot of bumps. Kick the shit out of them. Now, if this is, uh, in fact, the Lin Kuei taking bumps just to see if they are ready, the Lin Kuei are way stronger than they led on to believe. And behind, while doing, uh, Liu Kang's task, he probably doesn't like the fact that he... and in contrast to Kwa Yang who happily in Mortal Kombat X he happily tried to see if the combat kids were ready to face the for uh, face the forces of evil they would have to uh face 
to see if they can go to Outworld to see if they were ready. And Katraz behind probably doesn't like this much. I'm pre I'm pretty sure they taking bumps, they taking hits. And behind could very much fuck Kung Lao up. I don't think Kung Lao was ready. But I th I think that's what's going on here. I like the fact like if he is strong enough to take down the Lin Kuei, I like a strong Kung Lao. This makes me see him on a different scale. You know? Other than just being and his personality is so much different too. Way better personality than uh the rest of the Kung Lao's in Mortal Kombat 9. I barely even seen any personality from Kung Lao and X. I've seen it a little bit. But uh in nine and eleven, we seen a lot of uh stupidity and arrogance from Kung Lao. Which right here he is a little arrogant, like he's a little full of himself. But he's likable. I don't know what it is. He's just so likable. Kung Lao is so likable here. He feel like he the shit. It but he's he also who will regret crossing me. He's likable in a way. This is pretty fucking cool. IGN cut some of this out, by the way. We're raiding and um Sub Zero will fight. I don't know why they did this. I seen the pool. This this sequence right here is so comedic. Some people don't like how cheesy this is. I like it. I fucking like it. It's so to come back in a world of blood and guts and shit like this happen. They have a little time for comedy. I fuck with it. He done seen it all. Look at that derpy ass fucking. That's 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 mean material. Mean material. A derpy ass fucking shrug. Like, hey, what are you gonna do? You know, <laughs> fucking funny. You down like the rest of your Lin Kuei. You all right. You haven't a prayer against the Lin Kuei's grand. So one thing else I, I like about the story so far is the face models look so much better. Look way better than what we were getting. The voices, the voice acting sounds way better. It doesn't sound as exaggerated. Like Mortal Kombat or like Netherrealm likes to have them. It doesn't sound as exaggerated. Uh, I I just can't explain. How much better the quality of. The facial expressions and the voice acting is. Even though we had better face models in the last game. I don't know how to explain it and how to, to get it through um, people's heads or uh, get it to where people will understand what what I mean. Getting it through people's heads is crazy. I didn't mean to say it like that. But it's just, it's so much, the quality is so much better. And I can dig it. However, I'm iffy right now because there are a lot of good things going on in the story mode that makes this easier to watch. But the plot, what the fuck is Chronica doing there? Is she going to be the reason why Shang Tsung gets his powers? Of course, she has glowing blue eyes, so she, so she isn't a regular human. Had they would have had her come in with like just regular blue eyes and not glowing. I would have thought that she was not able to give Shang Tsung the power that he wants. I, I don't know what the hell is going on. I can't wait to see what the fuck is going on. 
But I don't even like Chronica at all. So for me to even see her is is hindering some fucking it's stopping some gears in my head. It's bothersome. But you know, I want to see where they go with this. I have no choice but to see now. At least there are some enjoyable parts of the story. But this is the motherfucking show. This is my breakdown of uh the Mortal Kombat 1 story mode so far. I can't wait to play this. I think I'm going to record the whole story. Give my live reactions. I will have a few drinks while I play this. My gameplay might not be the best. <clears throat> uh, What I'll probably do is... I should maybe I should play the story mode by myself. I can't I mean, nah, I wanna get my first reactions. I'll record my first reactions. And after I record my first reactions of it, I wanna go back through and tell what I was thinking through every part because I have a feeling there will be some surprises <coughs> throughout the gameplay of the story mode. I'll probably uh, be playing invasion mode on its own and maybe uh, I'll do some online matches I didn't get to do it with the beta because of time constraints I ain't get to practice as much and I don't want to give y'all some videos of me sucking okay I play with Johnny Cage and I must tell you I won a good amount of matches but it takes pure skill to learn those fucking combos and I believe I'm in need of a practice mode to to do any combos. Well, any combos more than seven to eight hits. <laughs> but yeah, I, I will be playing this and uploading it, and I think I'll do a uh, like a long watch and rewatch the whole story mode without playing the fights. I'll do it like that. And I'll probably uh, getting, be getting plastered while it happens. So, that'll be fun. I can give my, my first thoughts and opinions without having to actually play. And I, I can actually talk on how it actually made me feel. I say actually one more time. I'm going to slap myself. Okay, I just said it. But yeah, I can give my thoughts on how it made me feel the first time playing it around. Y'all have a good one, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know what y'all thought about the story mode. Do y'all like Chronica being back? I like the voice. I don't like her. I like the new get up. I don't like her. I mean, but there's so much good in this game. I can't wait. Let me know what y'all think, though.